The pandemic and mental health. Tonight, Contact 5 exclusively learns for the first time the number of Baker Act exams in Florida decreased last year with the biggest drop for children. Only Contact 5 investigator Katie Legrone is getting access to these early numbers, what they mean, and why the pandemic may not explain all of it. For the first time, the number of Baker Act exams is down in Florida. That's according to USF's Center for Baker Act Reporting, which tracks the number of involuntary mental health exams done under the state's Baker Act law. The center exclusively revealing to us early numbers, which show last fiscal year, the statewide total of involuntary psychiatric exams decreased by nearly 4% from the year prior. The largest drop, kids under 18, which has historically been trending up in Baker Act exams, and younger, with kids as young as five years old committed under the state Baker Act law. According to the latest data, between 2019 and 2020, Florida logged nearly 36,000 Baker Act exams for kids, a decrease of more than 5% from the previous year. We need to reduce that number by much, much more. But during a year dominated by shutdowns, school closures, and distance learning, um, Sam Boyd, senior attorney with the Southern Poverty Law down. Center, believes the Baker Act drop is more reflective of the pandemic than any fundamental change in how Baker Acts are used here. We don't see any other policy changes that could explain it other than um, the, the fact that folks are staying home because of the pandemic. In March, the advocacy group released this report criticizing the state for overusing, even abusing the Baker Act, pointing blame at school districts, including Palm Beach County. But more state funding focused on improving mental health on campus has some school districts seen major drops in Baker Acted students. They say the pandemic cannot fully explain. The Baker Act is in a punishment. In Orange County, in the last three years, the number of students Baker Acted in the district has dropped from 542 to 104 this year. Do you think that the pandemic also played a role in the numbers? Sure, I, I think that there is, that would definitely have some impact on the numbers early in the fall when so many kids were um, doing distance learning. But for the past few years, the district, like many, has made mental health a focus, using state funding from the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Act to pump up its mental health staff on campus. By fall, each school in the district will have a school counselor and social worker to help kids in crisis. It gives us more resources to do that without resorting all the way to the background. After a year consumed by a global health crisis, it's too early to tell if the recent drop in Baker Acts in Florida is sustainable or just another anomaly during a year full of them. I don't think it shows that we have turned the page or made any fundamental changes that are sufficient to start reducing the inappropriate use of involuntary psychiatric examination on children or adults for that matter. And this session, lawmakers also took up the Baker Act issue, passing a number of reforms that gets parents involved before a student is Baker Acted and makes school districts more accountable for when a student is Baker Acted on campus. Katie Legrone, WPTV News Channel 5.